Hey Gemini, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for your July blessings. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Gemini, we're going to go ahead and begin here. I do have personals open for the time being. It's a three question video reading. You can either get it within three to five business days, 48 hours or 24 hours. Details are down below. Gemini, the deck I'm using here is the Midnight Sun Oracle. I'm going to be clarifying with the tarot, okay? July blessings for Gemini. What are Gemini's July blessings? Okay. We have card number 14, frogs. This breaks down to a five. Fives can um, represent chaos, conflict, change, um, but also personal freedom and adventure. And I feel like it's more of personal freedom and adventure when it comes to this card because its description is uh, self-expression and carefree energy. Okay. So let's see which other blessings are. I feel like there's freedom from something here. Um, card number 11, Country Road, Imperfection and Journey. When I see the Country Road uh, card, it makes me think of West Virginia. Um, that's the West Virginia song, Country Road. Um, Country Roads. I'm from West Virginia. I don't live in West Virginia anymore, but that's where I was born. Um, let's go ahead and see what you are. Card number 17, A Lover's Dream, Present Moment, Dream. Breaks down to an eight. Let's see what we have here. What's going on with the frogs card for Gemini's July blessing? What's happening here with this energy? What is this energy about here for Gemini? Seven of Swords. I feel like this is what you're freeing yourself from. Really, really deceptive energy here. Uh, somebody here might have um, their Sun, Moon, or Rising sign in Aquarius, okay? But with this energy being present, it's a card of trickery, theft, deception, tactics as well. I think some of you are coming up with a new way to approach something here, a new way to express yourself, to show up in relationships, connections, commitments. Like this could be something that's really benefiting you, serving you well. Um, whether this is the fact that maybe you're standing up for yourself a little bit more, or whether it's that you are being more gentle I feel like whatever it is that you're changing your approach basically and I think that it is something that's going to benefit you in the month of July king of cups energy scorpionic energy showing up here I feel like there could also be someone coming towards you who has a lot of emotional intelligence I think that they could be like highly intuitive and I almost feel as if they can kind of sense um, that you've dealt with some sort of deception, okay? Like in the recent past here that you've dealt with some sort of deception that you're fearful or that you're not trusting of them, okay? So I would just be cautious of that energy, giving off that energy. You know, um, I think it could be something that's worth a talk, worth some communication here. Because I think that past connection, uh, past deception could be bleeding into, um, you know, a current connection here. You have the strength card showing up. Some of you, a Leo might be involved here. But yeah, this is like bouncing back. This is the energy of resilience, but I also feel like this is you showing up in a really powerful position here, holding your boundaries, like standing firm on them. And when it comes to your truth, I feel like that's something that you're holding on to as well. It's not that you're being closed-minded, but I think that in the past, somebody could have tricked you or deceived you into um, taking on their truth as the truth. And I think that that's something that you're moving out of here. And you're like, no, actually, you know, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, it makes more sense. You know, I think that's the energy that you're in. Now let's look at Country Road. Um, the description is imperfection and journey. What's happening here with this blessing for Gemini? Some of you could be traveling here. Two of Pentacles energy. Moving in and out of stability is the energy that I get here from the Two of Pentacles. Um, money being kind of up and down in July. But I will say, I feel like it's something that is stabilizing here. Knight of Swords. Gemini, that's your energy. I also think your energy, like your mood in general, could be kind of up and down in the month of July. Three of Pentacles. But I also feel like, you know, there's something about that here, Gemini, where I feel like there could be someone who's kind of embracing that. It's not necessarily that we're just going to lash out at folks and expect them to just deal with that all the time. But, you know, I do think that um, maybe you're in like a phase of a relationship, for example, where, um, you know, you're kind of pretending that you're perfect, right? That you, They're pretending they're perfect. You're pretending you're perfect, right? You could be in that kind of phase here and maybe the mask is dropping, right? And maybe you're like having a bad day. You snap or, you know, it's something like that here with that two of pentacles energy. I feel like you're seeing something um, 
shift a little bit and it's totally different from like somebody totally revealing like a whole other side of themselves this is more of like little flaws slipping in like and so i do think that there is someone here who is like willing to accept that and you're willing to accept their small flaws here like it's nothing that's a deal breaker and i feel like it's something that's really allowing you to be comfortable and be your most authentic self here whether that's a um romantic connection or a friendship i feel like somebody is seeing your flaws or your imperfections and you're seeing theirs as well but i do think that something could stabilize with money as well i think that's another blessing that's coming through here um let's look at lover's dream let's look at lover's dream here for gemini and their july blessings six of wands that's success recognition a lot of you could have a lot of attention coming your way here It's something to do with, like, I feel like this is um, in the works in the present moment. Like, this is a card of the present moment. I feel like this is something that could be happening right now. And um, let's see what else we have with this energy here. I think it could carry out throughout the rest of the month of July. Exactly. The Empress is showing up. This is somebody who's highly admired. They're seen as like a beauty, just really attractive, like really fertile, caring, kind, compassionate energy. Uh, I say really fertile energy, meaning like there's room for growth. You know, have you ever just met a person and you just feel like they, they inspire you to grow? That could be the energy that folks are looking at you in at this time. I also feel like some of you could be finding a mentor or there's someone here that's kind of um, inspiring you a lot in the month of July here, Gemini. But you're in this energy of just taking care of things. It, it feels really good. It feels really positive. I do think that a lot of you are moving out of this like pessimistic space of maybe focusing on the wrong things or focusing on things that have gone wrong. And I feel like you're focused on this pinnacle at your foot that maybe you've not tended to in a minute. And I think that this new approach is really going to bring you a lot of abundance here. And, you know, I do think that for some of you, there could be a dream that's actually fulfilled, something that um, is grounded in reality because that empress is showing up here. I feel like you may actually start to nurture something, Gemini, that maybe has just been a fantasy up until now so i think that's something that is uh, really positive here and showing up as a blessing also because i feel that once you do this you may wonder like why did i wait so long to do that i'm actually i'm actually good at that or you know it's, it's something like that here this is actually going really well right um but yeah you know I, I do think that that's an energy that spirit's pushing you to move out of as well as just kind of beating yourself up about things especially if there was like an argument or a little bit of a fight here like we're seeing with this country road card imperfection journey right and just knowing, too, that the joy is in the journey when it comes to something you're trying to accomplish as well. You move from the two to the three of pentacles. Like, it's it's progress. You know, it's progress. It may not be the ten just yet, but it is progress. And, you know, uh, you could have a setback here that I feel spirit is asking you to embrace because you're able to learn something from that. But mainly, I really feel that there could be, like, a small argument with the person where the two of you kind of reveal some flaws to one another. And it brings you closer together. So, I think that that is a blessing in disguise. So, um, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini. I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anyone who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. Like I said, when it comes to personals, it's a three-question video reading. You can either get it within three to five business days, 48 hours, or 24 hours. Everything's down there, but if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.